Well, happening tonight, Pinellas County deputies have arrested Hulk Hogan's son, Nick, for driving under the influence in Clearwater. According to the booking report, Hogan was pulled over on Gulf to Bay Boulevard. He's been released from jail on a $500 bond, but sadly, this is not the first time that he's had a run in with the law while behind the wheel. This weekend's arrest comes 16 years after he was arrested for reckless driving following a horrific accident that left his friend paralyzed. And Wendy, that was a big story when it happened. Yeah, that's right, Paul. We covered this story extensively at the time and new tonight. Our Mary O'Connell is picking things back up. She's taking a closer look at those charges and speaking with the mom of that man who's still living with those extensive injuries nearly two decades later. It was a story in the spotlight in the Tampa Bay area 16 years ago, a crash in 2007 involving Nicholas Balea, more commonly known as Nick Hogan, the son of wrestling star Hulk Hogan. Phone calls to 911 operators back then painted a picture of panic. They was racing. They were racing. I saw them. Yeah, it was two cars drag racing. He was drag racing. At the time, officials in Clearwater said that investigators interviewed several witnesses who stated they saw then 17 year old Balea and another driver racing. Before Balea lost control of his car and crashed into a tree, Balea was arrested for reckless driving for the wreck, which seriously injured his passenger, John Graziano. Linda. A judge sentenced him to eight months in jail. ABC Action News was there when Balea walked out of the Pinellas County Jail. That day, his family didn't talk to reporters, but the attorney who prosecuted Balea for his involvement in the 2007 crash did. Him serving his time is just partial justice. Uh, moving on and actually making a greater use of his life, that would be a form of justice. But only if John Graziano was 100% better, I think you'd actually have justice. Graziano suffered severe brain damage. Monday morning, I heard from Deborah Graziano, John's mother, regarding Balea's recent arrest. She told me in a text, quote, I think it's a complete lack of respect for what his reckless driving did to my son. It shows me how life goes on as if nothing happened for him. I can only pray that before it's too late, he turns his own life around. Deborah shared with us these photos, one six weeks before the crash and one now, she went on to tell me her son still can't speak, walk, or eat, but that he's aware and surrounded by love. We reached out to Balea and his family for comment on his recent arrest and have not heard back. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.